Hello everyone, Mr. Merkage here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to edit the login message for Xbox Live Stealth, or in this case, Xbox Live Login, which is the free offline files. Um, for an example is when you log in to Xbox Live and it actually says XBLS enabled or success, like just a custom message and just oh, it's the offline file, so you didn't really like pay for it. So if you want to have your own custom message, then yeah, you can have that. It's a bit more cool for, for you. Uh, so that's what we're going to do. Um, I actually think, like, I know a lot of uh, a lot of servers are coming about lately, and I know there are quite a few people are renting them off Conroy, but I've, I think one or two people have actually done what I'm about to show you, and they're literally selling this free file, which I think is really stupid. Um, I've, I've seen this video, and it's pretty clever, so I'm just going to show you what to do. Um, I'm not going to provide a download link for all these files here, just for some certain reasons I can't, but... Uh, I will provide a download link for this decrypt encrypt at all which was made by Gutu uh, and what you want to do is copy and paste the Xbox Live login.xex file and paste it into this folder and what we're going to do is we're going to actually trick it what we're going to do is we're going to rename this xex file and we want to call it IHC and we're going to change the format to a DLL and well, we do this because um, Obviously, the decrypt tool decrypts DLLs. So if we change the XEX to a DLL, and decrypt, then we can edit it and we can just decrypt, encrypt it again and change it back to an XEX, which is what we're going to do. So you want to put the file in here and literally run the decrypt tool. You can see it bring up this, uh, and it is yeah fully done. So just press any key, and it will generate this file here. Uh, IHC slash decrypted dot DLL. What we want to do is take this file and we want to drag it into HXD. As you can see, uh, it still looks like we've got all this random writing and stuff. But if we look, if we go down, you can see some normal stuff. Uh, if we go down a bit further, and you want to look for uh, this. Starting from here, so offset 1510, and as you can see, it's Xbox Live Logon Success. I don't know if you can see that, but Wait, this is what we're going to change here. And another thing, uh, it, it, if you see in the instructions, it tells you to put or create a folder called Xbox Live Logon. Uh, where it actually looks and locates your HV, CPU, and KV dot bin, um, and here is actually the command. It's looking on your HDD for an Xbox Live login folder. So obviously now you can change this, and you have to create a folder with a name of your choice. Uh, so that's just another option if you want to do that. There's not a, an absolute ton of stuff you can do, but um, it's what I'm going to show you this video so what you want to do is just get it from the top just you want to copy and paste all of it so control A control C I like to put it in a notepad because it's just much easier and um, what you want to do is come up to the top and you can can just you can just see things better uh, so you want to come over, drag it all the way back, and then actually look for the line we want, and it's right here. As you can see, Xbox Live Login Success. So I'm going to put that to a capital S because that annoys me. Um, you want to change it to what you want. I'm not quite sure why it has each dot in between each letter, but we're just we're just going to stick to that so I'll just put I'll call it Miss Miss the Mark for G three 
Mr. Merkage live, why not? Mr. Merkage live success. So now once you log in, it's going to say Mr. Merkage live success. And then if we come over, we can, instead of making it look for an Xbox Live login folder, we're going to look for a Mr. Merk folder. And make sure you do this for all three, all three files. So that, that was the HB bin. Let's look for CPU key bin and Mr. Merk. And then come over once more and change the KV bin. And then that's that. So now all we want to do now is control A, control C, um, and then just control V into here. And it changes the file size, so I don't know if this actually I don't know if that matters. I don't know if changing the file size matters. Uh, maybe it's because I changed Xbox Live logon folders to Mr. Merck so it was shorter. Just try and keep it the same length as the character so it's the same. But for purposes of this, yeah, put it into here, save, come back into your folder or the wrong folder, and now. This is the edited file. We've got the back file here. I think we can just delete that. And you literally want to encrypt it now. I'm not. I'm not going to do it. You can do it, but I'm just. I'm not sure what the time's like on this video. The length. So basically, all you want to do now is rename, put it back to Xbox Live Logon. I'm not sure if you can put it to your own custom one, but we're going to change it back to an XEX now. As you can see, you've got our file. You can put this on your JTAG and launch it up. Uh, I've not actually tested this myself because I don't go online, but this is just in theory that it'll work. I don't see why it wouldn't work, but if someone can try it for me and tell me tell me if it works then I'll appreciate it just comment in the section below if it does or not uh, so yeah that's how you edit an XEX using a little trick or whatever you would want to call it so thanks for watching if you did like it please remember to like and comment and I'll see you next time